I guess we'll start with the circumstances. Dad's trip's always a special time to, to have these guys around and get to hang out with the guys for a few days. Yeah, um, as much shit as they've gone through with their sons and, and all the work they put in with them, uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good-sized group, too. Have a dinner tonight, so we're all looking forward to it. What's it mean to have the dads here and, and have them around the kids? And do, do the guys listen a little bit more, maybe, to you because they're dads? Oh, I, don't, here. I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, it, it's just it, it gives them a chance to see uh, how they're doing at this particular time in their life in their sport, and as much time as they've put into it. Uh, you know, all the stories of driving them everywhere. Uh, uh, buying equipment, doing this, that, the other thing for them, to see kind of the the end result of getting to the the pinnacle of the National Hockey League. I'm not, you know, it, it, both of them, uh, the, the the kids and the parents, uh, they just must totally enjoy it as far as the culmination of being here. And they get to do everything, kind of like they're in the everything. room. They're yeah, in yeah. In fact, we just laughed. I wish we thought of a quicker. We should have put them through a workout <laughs> before we put their sons through a workout. And we didn't think of it quick enough. We were just talking about it after practice. So we're going to have a mums trip next year. We'll do it with the mums. <laughs> so. uh, Nick Sealer and, and Sean Walker have really developed quite a bond together as a defensive pairing. And they didn't know each other before the season started. What do you think is, has helped to build that bond with them? They've, they've just connected. They, they, uh, they just complement one another so well. Walks uh, has come on as such a surprise to us uh, how much he's up the ice, how much offense he can bring to the team. Uh, his willingness to do that, and Seals is kind of the anchor. You know, he knows Seals is going to be there. Uh, he'll be backing him up, and they just play off on one another so very well. Uh, we certainly didn't map it out that way. Uh, uh, it's it just happened that way, and it's been a, uh, a really good pair for quite a while. You guys obviously had the, the big win on Saturday against a really tough team. This is the, the final game of the road trip. Is that something you, you even need to communicate to these guys about, like avoiding a letdown final game of the road trip after such a big game? No, no. I, you know, we, we're going to prepare like we always prepare. Uh, I, I, I think that's how we've tried to go about it all year long is when no matter what the circumstances are, home or away, end of a road trip, dad's trip, whatever it may be, you prepare to play the best you can. And for the most part, our guys have been uh, pretty much right there as far as that. And, uh, so yeah, I, I, uh, it's, a, it's a team that uh, Nashville that was struggling early on then has gone on a run themselves, find a way to beat Montreal the other night. Uh, they'll be ready to go. Uh, we just got to prepare and be the best we can be. You mentioned about after you watched the tape of the Coyotes game, the, the team played better than maybe you thought in, yeah. in the interim. Um, you know, in, in real time. But when you went back through the tape of the, the Saturday game, did the team play as well as you felt like they played in, the, uh, in, in real time? Yeah, I liked our game. I, I liked how we handled uh, uh, some of the swings of the game. Uh, you know, Bedsy throws out that line. He, he puts all three of those guys together quite a bit in the offensive zone. Uh, had some situations where we were stuck there, but it was kind of that, that saying of bend, but we didn't break. Uh, I thought we had some really good sticks at important times when they're about they're in a really quality area, and we end up uh, not even letting them get a shot. Uh, our, I thought our checking through the middle of the ice was good. Were we perfect? No, but I don't think we, I don't think we ended up on our heels uh, for an extended period of time. We fought through it and then got going on our attack, uh, score a couple of quick goals in the in the third period and find a way. Just going back to Nick and uh, Sean real quick, um, their pairing. They, back in like 20 years ago, let's say, in the NHL, was always uh, more of an offensive-minded guy, defensive-minded guy, and that was kind of the balance. So that if someone rushed up, you had the defensive guy maybe stay back a little bit. But they kind of play a little bit of a similar game. Sean rushes it up maybe a little bit more, but they kind of are very similar. Do you think that just that has changed how the game is, is played now with that? Well, I, I'm not sure if all teams uh, go about it. It depends on your personnel. You know, I, I don't think coaches are looking to say, oh, I got an offensive guy and a defensive guy, I'm going to play them together. I don't, I, at least, I, I don't think that way. This just kind of fell into it. Uh, you know, I, Seals was playing a, on a third pair for a little bit, and uh, he's just grown and has been so consistent. Seals is probably one of our, our better players in the offensive zone getting pucks to the net. He's created a lot of offense, just him getting pucks to the net. A little bit different than other, our other offensive guys, 
Uh, so uh, the way the pairs have worked out are, are way, they're just the way they've worked out. They could change as we go through here, but we've been pretty consistent uh, with our play here for uh, for the first quarter, so we've, we've stuck with them. With, uh, with regards to Bill Farabee, he obviously scored on, on Saturday. He's been productive so far this year. Is there any thought in terms of his ice time? It's, it's kind of maybe lower than you would expect for somebody who, who has produced as well as he has this year. Uh, you know, it, 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 again, that, that just that's game to game. Uh, uh, what's happened this year is, uh, you know, Bobby Brink has given us good minutes. Uh, Tyson's come in onto the scene here and has demanded time. Um, I don't, I don't go in into a game thinking I need to get him 17 or 18 minutes. I go with the flow of the game. Uh, Beezer hasn't been on the power play. That, that's something could change along the way if we don't get that more consistent. We've thought about that. We're going to stay with it right now, but uh, that, that, that could change some of his ice time. Had a number of penalty killers come to us this year. We're happy with our penalty killing. It's taken a little ice time away from there. It's just the way it's worked out. Uh, it, 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 is, it, it isn't in a, in a negative way because he hasn't gotten that, that, how we feel about him. It's just the way other guys have played too. So it's not just thinking about one guy, it's what other guys are doing. That's just the way it's fallen into play. Are you happy with this play though? I know there was that, that benching, but beyond that, are you, are you happy with yeah, how this play? Yeah, I, I think that line of him, Watts, and Cam have, had, have, had, have been inconsistent a little bit in our end zone at times, because I've used them against, a top, you know, I use Kutz's line, and I use that line a lot against top six forwards against the opposition. I think there's been some struggles and consistency there. I, th I thought that they were better the other night against Colorado. Uh, yeah, but for the most part, I've been happy.